So now I'm just going to talk real quick about the uh, Wing Chun Batam Do or the knives uh, that are in the Wing Chun system. Uh, the Batam Do form is actually the last thing one formally learns in the Yip Man Wing Chun system. And there's a lot of debate nowadays uh, about where the, the knives actually, when they came into the Wing Chun system. Uh, now they're generally regarded as the top secret in the Wing Chun system because uh, not only is, uh, uh, are the knife techniques themselves quite advanced, but also the footwork that accompanies them can also be used in the fist fighting um, portion of your Wing Chun as well. Which will greatly expand the way you move uh, when you're doing your normal unarmed fighting. Uh, now, there are a couple of things to observe about the Wing Chun Batam Do. First of all, the knives themselves have a slightly different shape than what's uh, commonly referred to as butterfly swords or butterfly knives. And it's very important not to mix the two. There are a lot of people that call Wing Chun knives butterfly knives or butterfly swords, and in fact, this is an error. The Chinese title for these uh, knives is actually the same as the form. They're called Bat Jam Do, which means eight slashing knives. They are not called called Wu which would mean butterfly swords. A lot of people, unfortunately, because there are other st styles that use a wider knife, which has a similar shape, but the, the handle is in the center of the blade. And if you look at the Wing Chun knife, the handle is in line with the tip. That's a unique shape for the Wing Chun style. Also, the knives come together so they're flat edged in the center. All these things are unique to the Wing Chun knives, so the Wing Chun knives are not, in fact, butterfly knives. Another thing that's different in the Wing Chun knives compared to the butterfly knives, we do not flip the knives when we're using them in combat. Uh, if you see there are a lot of people when they're using their knives, they're flipping them around and doing all these kind of things. When you're fighting, in, in, in a real life situation with knives. That means you're fighting with weapons. You are fighting for your life. The last thing you want to do is stand there flipping this blade around, doing a bunch of things that might end up you, with you losing the blade and losing your weapon. Uh, in fact, there was a magazine uh, called Modo, which was an old martial arts magazine from Hong Kong. And there was an article about Ba Cham Do, which was written by Grandmaster Leung Ting. This was written during the time uh, that he was learning from great Grandmaster Yip Man. And Grandmaster Yip Man actually gave him a lot of information and source material to do the article. And one of the things that great Grandmaster Yip Man really discussed was that in Wing Chun, we do not flip the knives, okay? Flipping the knives is a very, very dangerous thing to do because you may lose them. And he even uh, noted that a lot of Hong Kong tribes or gangsters when they would go in for a knife fight would even wrap their hands to the blade so, or sorry to the handle so that they wouldn't lose the knife in fighting and this makes a lot of sense because if you have to fight you don't want to lose your weapon so no flipping in the Wing Chun Bacham Do.